Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we are playtesting this game called Emberheart. I am playtesting it through the GameRound.co platform. You can go there, download games just like this. You can literally download this one. You can playtest them, leave reviews, win prizes. It's a it's a great system. And on top of that, they have a really well-developed and friendly, very friendly, Discord server. Anyway, this game, Emberheart, is an action RPG. Uh, I think Diablo is probably the biggest title in that genre. So, I mean, if you need something to compare it to, that's... There's a good start. Um, this is uh, early development. You can see in the bottom right it says Alpha 2, version 0.2.0 Alpha. Uh, we're going to play test it. It's a blind play test. I have not played it before. First things first, though, I went to adjust the volume. It didn't work. Or the, the music volume specifically. Um, this might already be known uh, to the developers, but anyway, this little thing does, it doesn't work. Or I couldn't get it to work. Uh, what the heck just happened? Oh, that's super interesting. So in the recording, uh, like in the video, what you're seeing is character selection. What I'm seeing is not that. What just happened? Um, all right, so there's no mouse clipping. So my, mo my mouse is going um, be between the three monitors or among the three monitors. It's just going across the screen. And the game basically just froze up, it looks like. Um, it might have to do with the recording software. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can just do it through the recording. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that would be tedious. Please hold. Okay, I just restarted the game. I think what may have happened is that Windows um, requested permission. Windows 10 requested permission for uh, the, the, an exception in the firewall. Okay, there we go. Now I can see it. All right, so Berserker, Bear Shaman. Um, as far as the UI is concerned, oh, 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 oh. Let's let's just clarify here. This video is specifically for the developers in order to, um, just give feedback, whatever whatever I think, whatever I think. Um, and so I guess you know I started with the music, and next I think is the UI. Um, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, I don't know. It's uh of the, the font, the font used on the buttons. Small thing. I just don't like it. I think it might be, I don't know, too stylized. It Maybe just a little bit crisper would be great. I know it's a, it's probably a cool font. It looks cool, but I just don't think this is the application. Um, also, around the, the, the top, the top of this window right here, the leaves are like... No, I guess not this one. These leaves do, do go over, but... um, Shoot, there was a point on startup where there was a window where... It was just cut off, like the top of the window cut off the... Wait, was it here? Let's, let's go check that out. Yeah, I don't know. Small thing though, right? Anyway. Um... Oh, Bear Shot. Enchantress. Lightbringer. Okay, if you've played action RPGs, this is... This probably looks really familiar to you, right? The Grave Digger. An unholy cult working with the dead in Yulu sewers. An underground town in the wastelands of Aldovia worships Dahlia, the goddess of moon, and finds a deeper meaning in her beauty. Um, the formatting here, like, th this, her beauty should be, like, continuing. Anyway, while the rest of the world accepted Dahlia as a shallow goddess of beauty, love, and feats. Huh. The, um... It's a little, I don't know, little... I would clean up the formatting and have a spell, or, uh... Check for grammar. Check for grammar and, uh, sentence structure. But, um... Stalker is probably stealth, right? Gravedigger's like a necromancer. Lightbringer's a cleric. Enchantress is an enchantress. A magic user. She's probably, like, um, not a sorcerer, but, like, a wizard, kind of. I'm just guessing. She was by far the most talented mage among her peers in the Academy in Goat Warriors. Oh, God, God, not go. Go! At least that was what she thought. Her masters did not agree. She never revealed why she left the academy, but her thirst for knowledge was insatiable. She had to free herself from the chains of restrictions and learn every magic discipline she could. Right here, that should be... Anyway, it's just stuff like that. I try not to get too much into the language because most people don't care. And, like, you know, the use of the language. Um, but, anyway. The reason she headed to Aldemar, though, wasn't the dark magic... But Earth, yet she was not aware a greater adventure was right about to begin. Uh, I'm not going to read them all. You know, in 
I remember playing Diablo 2 and I thought I had like this awesome like necromancer build and it was like it was really powerful in PvE and then as soon as uh, someone went what well, I forget what they call it it's not called go rogue but it's like when they start P PvPing you then uh, my my golem and skeletons like my whole build just got destroyed <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go for this for like the cleric bringers of lights ancient cult okay um what is too normal Great. Melee, holy, and healing. Yes, that's what I want. Level 1 Lightbringer on normal. Wait, what is this? These arrows, do they work? They don't appear to work. Okay. Don't need to. Select difficulty, soldier. Oh, I kind of wish I would have been able to take a look at that map a little bit more closely. Alright, let's look at this. This looks, um, I mean... Uh, don't take this the wrong way. It looks like a Diablo clone, right? Which is which is great. I think they had a great format. And again, like I said earlier, they're they're like the biggest name in the genre ever. I think you know. So, um, just use. I, I like the use of things that are familiar and common uh, to players. So like you know, red is health, uh, blue is mana. You have your experience bar at the bottom. You've got hotkeys uh, corresponding to your numbers on the keyboard. I dig it. You got Q T Cutie. Ha ha ha! No, I'm kidding. Um. T. Return to town. Okay. Use potion. What potion is that? Can we press I and look at our thing? Yes, we can. Inventory. What's going on up here? <laughs> uh, it's it's a, it's an early development. This kind of stuff gets a, a pass, like an easy pass. Uh, this it'd be cool if it were. Oh wait 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 no I'm looking at this wrong. Oh, okay no 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 I thought that that was part of the UI like all these little uh, these nameplate things. Uh, it's not, or it's, it's, I thought when I brought up, what the heck's going on? Now, okay, well, I thought when I brought this up, anyway, uh, I redact what I said. So, we don't need this, right, we don't need our inventory open right now. Um, it's just a left-click movement, you can see where the little green thing's coming up, right? It's like the, the waypoint. Can we, oh, we can, we can zoom in and out, cool. Yes, I could probably just go read all this in the controls. Let's see if that's there. Key bindings! Ampersand skill... What? <laughs> what? I mean, I know what ampersand is, but... what? Uh, I've never seen it uh, labeled like this, I guess, in the... In the controls. I mean, so that'd be like number seven, right? Skill three is... Huh. Interesting. All right, enough of this. I, I, uh, oh, okay. So the game is not paused, and we can still move around. That is uh, surprising, kind of unexpected. I kind, I kind of expected the UI to take precedence for like mouse clicks and stuff, to where the, um, the game, you know what I mean? Maybe like maybe once once you bring up this, if it's like single player, pause the game, and then um, and d d disallow clicking from the background. Here's the window I was talking about earlier. The leaves, like, it'd be cool if they just kind of, like, came over the top instead of just being cut off. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But, like, it happened on the side over here. This looks great. And then it just doesn't continue around the other three edges. It just kind of cuts off. Um, also, right here, if you press escape, it should back out of menus. I'm pressing escape. It just doesn't work. Simple thing. I, I think. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. What else is there? We got some fog going on. Looking at the terrain. This texture is kind of weird. I don't think it's a texture, though. I think it's, yeah, it's just the grass. It's like the grass. There are lines of grass. See that? Um, and they they definitely show up a lot at this distance. See this right here? All these lines? Th those are not part of the texture that is the ground. Those are, like, lines of, I guess, somewhat three-dimensional grass. Huh. This texture repeats right here. I don't know, like just, these are small things. This is like really being picky, uh, I think. Overall, I'm being like super picky. I'm just pointing things out though that I'm noticing. Um, like there's not a lot of variation. Like every single panel has, you know, a somewhat similar uh, chipping or whatever, the stucco. This light um, doesn't, doesn't look great. These are all small details though. 
I do like the fog. What is this thing right here? There's like a white... Oh, what's going on there? See this? There's like a white square. It looks like it might... Uh, it, it's supposed to be a butt, maybe? And then there's like a little tool tip that comes up when you mouse over it, but there's nothing there. Just a guess. Again, it's in a super early development, so it's not a big deal. Those, like, those things are... Oh, we found the edge of the world, though. That might be a big deal. <laughs> it might be... Uh, yeah, never mind. I, that, that's like... It's early development, and there probably just hasn't been time to go that far, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to mention it or comment on it or try to explain whatever. Um, one thing right here is that a, a second ago on the prior screen, we were level 1 soldier. Now we're level 2 soldier. Kind of interesting. I wonder how that happened. Let's look at, char Let's look at character stats. Um, okay, I like that you can respec. I always love uh, respecing. You know, there's a cost to it. It seems like that might be a hefty cost, especially, like, this early in the game. 10,000 gold. But, um, I like that. I was thinking a lot about this recently. I was playing some roguelikes, um, oh, like a few months, or I don't know, a month ago, whatever. And, um, I realized why people don't like them, because you don't want to spend, like, 30 hours playing a game, just have permanent player death or character death, and then have to start all over for nothing. And so this, this kind of fits into that idea where, um, it's not, you're not locked into your decision making. Because, like, right now, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, it'd be really disappointing if I were putting points into something I thought were good, and, like, later on down the road, I realized, oh, this sucks. I, I wish I hadn't done that. Um, skill panel? When, when I click on something in this menu, um, it'd be cool if the menu went away. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I'm, I'm only gonna use that menu for one thing. Oh, and it doesn't work for everything. Oh, no, it does. No. Huh, th this is kind of kind of buggy. The way that I expect this this menu to work, just me personally, is you, you click on this, it brings up the menu, and you click on something, and it brings it up, this menu goes away, right? And then, so if I go like this, bring it up again, then inventory, okay, this menu should go away. Because, like, otherwise, how if I bring up inventory, this menu's in the way of my inventory. Uh, press escape. Okay, escape worked there. Let's get on with this. Let's actually play the game instead of just look at all the UI. Oh, the road to Aldemar. Why are you tra traveling to Aldemar? The roads are dangerous and guarded by packs of wolves. The Ember Heart got in the wrong hands, and they are using it to mutate the wildlife. If you're going to travel to Aldemar, you better make yourself useful. I see you have strong arms. Arr! Please kill some dire wolves along the road. I wonder if we were like the Enchantress or the... um. The bear, what was it, bear shaman? Yes, yes, those are the women, the female characters that I remember. I wonder if uh, he would say the same thing to us. Objectives. Kill wolves, find, and enter Aldemar. Reward. Boop, 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 boop. See that? First quest, 100 gold. Compare that to um, the 10,000 gold respec cost. It's a long road to Aldemar in the respecking process. Except. Kill 20 wolves, find, and enter Aldemar. Okay, um, th this kind of like, again, this stylized text, I think it works well for titles, but I, I also think like less is more kind of. So like the this sparing use of uh, really stylized fonts, I think um, are, are better, but um, bo both like for the overall appearance and like style of the UI and um, ease, ease of reading, I guess. Not that, it, not that this particular one is hard to read, and I'm sure that um, the developers would disagree with what I'm saying here. Let's try to attack this thing. I'm just holding... I, I left-clicked on it, and then I just held down the left mouse button. Oh, there's a stash back here, right? Uh, what? No stash? I guess not. When we go like this... No. Go like this... Remember? I was just commenting on it. There were, like, little nameplates that came up over those things. Oh, well. Oh, so, like, the mini-map, it doesn't seem to be working? The the wolves aren't hitting us at all. Not, not one bit. What is right mouse button? Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, look at, look at the health in the bottom left. 
um, the wolf isn't really, like, hitting us, per se, right? It's just, like, latching onto us. It is, like, like, like a health drain. Now it's hitting us. Oh, and then our life comes back right away? That seems like it'd be make for pretty easy gameplay. Maybe this is, like, the part where the game holds our hand. Ooh, a worn amulet. By whom? No, we'll wear it in a second. Ooh, a magical amulet. Give me that. Is this a world of, uh, where, where magic items are in abundance? Kill streak awarded, plus zero. <laughs> no kill streak. You suck. No. Okay, so one, let's, let's go like this. We have two amulets, right? One is magical, one is worn. So I'm guessing of, like, a lower quality. Um, if I left-click and drag to the thing. That, no, here's the amulet thing. Yep. Okay, then, there it is. That's what I wanted to see. If you mouse over one in your inventory, will it have, like, a, a comparison, you know, side-by-side -side windows? Just like this. Yeah, there, there you can see it. Quality, uncommon versus normal. Item level two. They both add one resistance. I'm not sure what that means. Let's press C. Nope. Man, the, um... S something's... I'm trying to, like, replicate this. It took me three times of pressing C to bring up the character screen. Right there, I just pressed I. No inventory. Press it again, it comes up. Press C, it comes up. Okay. What is resistance? Huh. Right, it says one resistance. The music's good. Is that a loot? No, it's probably just a guitar, right? I don't... I think it'd be pretty hard to find a loot these days. Speaking of loot, there's an auto loot! Alright, um... Plus one power, plus... So... Okay. So they're basically... I mean, basically the same thing, except the magical amulet it has plus 20% all resistances and 3% uh, increased physical damage. Good thing, because we, we are a physical character. We're a normal light bringer. Oh, what? I pressed. Yeah, something's wrong with the buttons. I pressed I and it took down both screens, which was unexpected. Level not high enough. Oh, for the right mouse button. So I hold. I held down Shift, Shift and left click, and then Shift and right click, and then that. Oh, what's this thing on the map? Let's go! See what this thing is. Oh, the path probably would have just taken us back, right? Back, like, up and around? What is it? Is it bad? Are you bad? Can we not get through here without killing all the wolves? The wolves can't get through there either, can they? Oh, we do AoE damage. Or, I mean, like, you know, damaging multiple things at the same time. Maybe not AoE, but like an arc in front of us. No kill streak awarded, even though we killed two things in a row. Okay, I'm just gonna try clicking on it once. Nope. You gotta hold it down. Hold down left mouse button. Um, what's our what's our potion? I don't know what our potion is. A lot of times, um, in games like this, when you open up the inventory, there are Oh, no, you know what? No, I'm, I'm remembering it incorrectly, but what the heck is this? What's our potion? Do we not have one? Let's go like this. Let's press T. Temporal confirmation. Your progress in this map will be lost, and you will have to start from the last waypoint again. Are you sure you want to use the, the town portal? Nope. We haven't made that much progress, but I'd like to keep what we have. Where? Oh, okay. The mouse... The mouse just kind of disappears. If you left click and hold, the mouse disappears. Or anytime you click, really. See that? It blinks. It'd be cool if you could, like, hold down left mouse button. And then, like, right now I'm holding down left mouse button. We're moving toward where the cursor was, but once I once I hold it down, I can no longer move the cursor. So, like, the dude is just running in that direction, but I can't, I can't steer him. Oh, duh, what am I thinking? There's a quest, right? We have to kill tw uh, 20 wolves.
what is going on there? I thought I left clicked. Nope, I didn't. See, I, I thought that I left clicked on the mouse and held. Well, this guy's hitting hard. Let's press Q. Yep, it's a healing potion. Oh, I see. So the potion. Oh, this guy. It's a dire wolf. Holy mother of God. All right. Um, suddenly now the um, not being able to hold down the mouse is kind of messing me up. What does this thing do? Let's try it. God strike. Oh, I died. Okay. So this escalated really quickly. I mean, I know that's a uh, a trendy thing to say. Well, that escalated quickly, but um, no, it did. It it, it went from like just taking damage for like five or ten seconds just to seeing what it was like to, to, to dying after three hits. This escalated too quickly, in fact. Um, yeah. So let's let's start again and see what happens. So our quest progress saves. Okay, let's look at this too, first. First, before we go continue killing wolves. Oh, also, I'm not sure if you saw, but we leveled up to two. And this thing still says level two soldier. So I'm curious what happens after that. After we get to like three, four, five, and so on. Uh, new help page unlocked. You. Alright, help pages. Open the skills panel by pressing K by default. You can drag and drop skills onto your action bar or click on aura or curse skills to make it active. Okay. Class skills have skill alteration runes, runes that you can select to change the additional effect of the skill. Click on the drop down next to a skill icon and select which alteration you want. Okay, got it. Wait, what button do we press? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, so blessed strike and God strike. That one sounds like really. Uh, I, I was uh, misled. I thought it was gonna like come down. Like an ion cannon from Command and Conquer, um, you know, like, what is it, GDI? Whatever that, you know what I mean? Like, shoot, and just like destroy everything on the map. Like deforestation, uh, evaporate all the water, you know what I mean? Like, the, the name of it kind of was misleading in my mind. But uh, it, it didn't do as much as I thought. I think I used it, but I'm not sure, honestly. All right, so mana cost is 18. Pull down 0.5. Is this thing use mana? No, good, okay. Tags, primary, holy, single target. Main. What? This was primary and that one's main. What's the difference there? Uh, and I'm looking at tags now. Anyway, uh, holy AoE. Receive Koyash's blessing to create an explosion of holy energy that damages all foes around the hit target for 275% holy weapon damage. Um, so, like, do we have a holy weapon? Oh, I just did it. Oh. We don't have a weapon, do we? We're just using our, um, our fists. Maybe that's our problem. Well, there is your problem. And I can't... There's nothing here anymore. If I press I before there was a mass cell cell, I don't see... Um... No. Huh. Okay. Oh, cool. Little um, uh, tool tips. Defensive rating, attack rating, yeah, four. Healing rating, all right. That might be the issue, right? Maybe I should have, like, not gone chasing the squirrels across the minimap. <laughs> there was, like, a, there was, I don't know, like, I don't know, a fairy, a magical fairy dust orb or whatever. See it on the bottom left of the map right now? I saw that and just went careening across the landscape. Maybe I should, like, just keep going here. Oh, that guy had crit. Q. Wow, Q for the health potion. What is this thing? Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot already. Uh-oh. We are uh, definitely taking a lot of damage here. Potion is on cooldown. God strike! Okay. That was really close, right? That was really close. Yeah, the, um... There's uh, a little bit of choppiness here in, in the combat system. Um, I think I, I'm gonna take some time and think about it, try to put my finger on it so I can articulate what, what I'm trying to say a little bit better. Uh, a Warhammer, normal quality, one damage. Let's see what our attack rating does now when we equip it. Can I just right click and equip it? Yep, sure can. Our attack rating did not go up by very much. 
So having our hammer in our hands is only 50% more effective than using our gauntleted fists. I had to uh, press escape twice there in order to get the that thing to go away. The inventory. Uh, attack him. Again, that's... It gets a pass. I mean, like, the player... This is basically a demo, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, those are big ones. Those are big ones. Okay, hang on. I probably should have, uh... <laughs> Upgraded my skills. Look how fast we are compared to wolves, though. Not sure if it's good or bad. Unrealistic, yeah, for sure, because, like, we're wearing a ton of armor. I don't think we're a superhero. The wolves are generally faster than people. Um. Alright. Attribute. Oh, five points. I wonder if it's five points per level or just, like, five points every four levels or what? Starting at level two, obviously. Um. Let's get our defense up. Like, all the way up. Oh, that's cool. I always like these stat screens. In a game like this, it's a, you know, it's usually really enjoyable, and it's a big component of the game um, to min-max your build. And so it's cool to see all this, uh, the numerical values of everything, and it's all just, like, laid out for you. No mysteries here. Wasn't there, like, press K twice, and then it brings this up? Okay, so class strikes. Class skills. Blessed strike. Um. Wait, deals splash damage. Oh. What? Let's try this. Bra oh, jeez. Look at that. Also, uh, strike holy... Okay. I like this one. Death from above. Also, strike holy lightning upon the hit enemies that deals 110% holy damage. Holy weapon damage and splash damage. Yep. So we are using... I don't get it. I don't get it. So this thing uses zero mana. Oh, but then using using it generates mana or just having it equipped? Or, you know, having this thing selected generates mana. Who are these dudes? Oh, Light, Lightbringer Berserker? No, these are... Oh, just click on them and they show up. Hey guy, you're gonna help me out now. I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill wolves. Oh now this thing's here, an aura that grants you health regeneration. That's huge. Oh, okay, and now now it works. I'm not sure what happened with the mouse, but now when I click, like when I left click and hold, um our dude runs toward the cursor and the cursor stays on the screen so we can steer him while that's happening. That's big. So I'm I'm glad it's incorporated. I'm not sure why it didn't work for a while. Um maybe because I didn't select the mercenary and like there was this little thing going on. The kind of like bug with um, the tooltip popping up. We need to kill two more wolves. Do they not? Oh, here they are. Oh, oh, these. Oh, it's a boss wolf. Where is my man? Come on, dude. Run, run, run. Press Q. Yes, that's that's the god strike I was expecting. Something like that. Where's our dude? Is he dead? Oh, oh, get away, get away, get away. Press Q. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that was all 20 wolves. And I'm guessing Amor, Aldemar. Um, our mercenary is definitely not keeping up with us. What are you doing back here, guy? You got marshmallows? Are you going to have a, a campfire? We'll leave him there for now. Minimap implement implementation, um, it, uh, why can't we go in? What's happening? So I just left click there and then, like, let go? Oh, so he just runs around the wall? <laughs> is that, is that, is that intentional? It seems like this is supposed to be, like, a magical barricade. I feel like I'm entering Bree. In Bree Town? Lord of the Rings. Uh-oh, did we break it? What is happening? Um, it'd be cool if the buildings, like, cut away so we can see what we're doing. But, like, right here, th this, it looks like it's supposed to be a magical barrier, like, where we cannot get through there unless we've completed the prior objective, which would be kill wolves. So, like, when I first encountered that, I thought, oh, okay, we need to go kill wolves first, and then we'll be able to do this one. Um, not the case, didn't work. It gets a pass. I'm not sure if this, like, light entity is on the right side of the screen. 
Let's go see, see, if we, see if we can find out. No, we're not going to. That's going to take forever. It probably just... I have no idea. Is that like a quest marker? Or, you know, like, quest indicator? I doubt it. There's not very much here. Oh, this is it. This is the edge of the world, I guess. Or, like, we can't go over there. Okay. This texture is, um, it's really obviously re repeated a bunch. Like, I I'm not sure if that's exactly accurate, but it, it looks like it's just repeating. Like, there's not much variation in the, the stonework that is the ground. Can so I have no idea what's going on. Find and enter Aldemar. Where are you? Can I press M and get a map? No, M brings up mercenary and inventory screen. Why? Is this their inventory or our inventory? It must be ours unless the in, the mercenary gets like duplicates of what we have because we click on the mini map. No. Clicking on the mini map um, applies the click like as if the mini map weren't there. And now our mouse isn't working again. Brutal. What is going on? Do we have to, like, get access to Aldemar from this dude? Be cool, um... If the camera were kind of zoomed... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What an idiot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> It'd be cool if the camera were zoomed out and, like... Hey, you're in control of that dude. You can do it. Just go ahead. It's already there. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. What's this? It's uh not that. It's not a dis disco teka. Shoot, I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know what to do. So this this might be the end of the demo. I'm not. I'm not sure what I did wrong here. I feel like I did something wrong, but I don't. I have no idea. How did I get the um inventory or the yeah right here mercenaries is what I meant. Weapon skills coming soon. Oh, okay. When you click on, like, the little carrot, the, it brings up these two options, and, like, they don't go away if, if you click somewhere else. Um, let's try, uh, Lothaku. Oh, yeah, they don't go away ever, <laughs> unless you click on them. Hello, thank you. How are you? Yeah, so the bringing a, a mercenary in, um, it fixed the mouse. And this mercenary follows us, I think. Although he should be as fast as us instead of, like, as fast as the enemies. Because we're a lot faster than the enemies. Like, roughly, like, one and a half to 1.75 times the speed, I'm just guessing. Keen Eye increases critical hit chance. That's cool. I always like auras that do that in games. Hmm. See these leaves right here? It looks like this leaf should be like underneath this, just based on like the the rounded edge. But the radius of this is not as what sharp, I guess. You know, like as this circle. All right, uh, gameplay's done. I'm just gonna talk here for a few minutes, and I am talking to the developers again, just trying to give feedback. I think there are a lot of titles. Well, I guess firstly, I'll say. This is a very, this is a skeleton. This is, like, just the bones, right? Like, there's no flesh. There's, um, not, not really a story from what I could discern. I mean, like, there's a little bit of lore, um, you know, surrounding each character. A lot of those things, though, I, I think are glossed over when a person first makes a character. Like, when they first start a game. The thing that, like, I think would really set a game like this apart in, in a genre in which there are... I don't think that there are, like, a lot of really big titles. But um, the ones that are big are huge. Um, and, I, again, like, I can think uh, Grim Dawn, Torchlight, and Diablo. And the developers even put that in the description, you know, just to, like, uh, have some similarities so people understood what they were getting into. Like, you know, what the experience is expected to be like. And so, that being said, I think a game like this is, um, you know, like, the thing that would set it apart or, like, 
Well, not even set it apart. The thing that would be necessary here is um is multiplayer co-op, and man, there's just there there's a lot of work to be done here. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, the world isn't fleshed out like, at all. Um, you know, we just have like a path. I couldn't get into Aldemar, find and enter Aldemar. I'm not sure if that's a bug or what. Um, today is the fourth of October, 2021, and I downloaded this game today, so this this should be the most up to date version. Um, and so I'm not sure, you know, like if this is a bug that's known and hasn't been fixed yet, or if they tried to patch and it didn't work, or if it's just my, my computer. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot that I think needs to be done still. There's a lot. It's a, it's a long uphill road, uh, for, for this game, I think. And I think I've given most of the feedback as I played. Um, the, the, there's a lot of kind of buggy things, a lot of buggy things that make it choppy, um, like, I, I'm, let's see, I'm pretty accepting of small, small occasional bugs that just kind of happen, as long as they're not catastrophic, like, they don't make your game crash, um, and I didn't experience that here, except for, like, in the very beginning, that was, you know, I couldn't, I'm not sure what happened, I think, again, it was, like, the Windows, uh, Windows 10 requesting permission for the access to the firewall, it just disallowed me from, it was weird, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but other than that, there weren't any, like, game-breaking bugs. They were just, like, some small things here and there. I think I pointed them out mostly along the way. Um, and, I mean, I'm just... I, I like to be blunt. There's there's not a lot to comment on here. Like I, like I said, kind of... <laughs> it's a... There's a skeleton of a game here, so, you know, like, a lot of the stuff is, like, functionality um, commentary, right? Like, the UI and stuff that I commented on, but as far as, like, the story, um, combat mechanics... There's just not a lot here. There's no variation of monsters in uh, in this this session that I played. Again, I couldn't get to Aldemar. I couldn't enter. I mean, what I assume is Aldemar. So um, I can only hope that there were other monsters and that someone you know got to play them. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. This game that we play tested is called Ember Heart. You can play it for yourself on GameRound.co. That's where I go to play test games. Um, you leave reviews, uh, answer survey questions, you get entered into drawings, and then you also save up uh, G points, and you can buy G Round merch. And it's it's good merch. It is um, very desirable. Anyway, that's it for this one, everybody. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. We'll see you in the next one.